ashen fueled meeting happening in Stone County as some residents continue speaking out about Inviva's plans for its wood pellet plant. And now that plant is one step closer to opening. Noah Noble was there to bring us this report. Well, as the saying goes, you can't please everyone all the time. And that's what happened at the Board of Supervisors meeting today in Stone County. But at the end of the day, the leaders feel like they made the right decision. I wish that there was some way that you could make everybody happy. You just got to do what's best and right for the county. Stone County supervisors unanimously voting to approve a memorandum of understanding with Enviva. But a petition signed by 350 Stone County residents wants more accountability to ensure Enviva follows emissions regulations. And if it doesn't, petitioners want additional penalties to come from the county. But supervisors explained that won't happen because that's the job of the State Department of Environmental Quality. We were not against the extra testing by no means, but we do. Uh, expect a, a report annually of what they're doing and, and what they're uh, putting off. Me personally, I, it's hard for me to believe that they could get the, the permits or anything else if it's that detrimental to the life safety of people. I don't believe the state would have ever allowed it. The county is giving Enviva financial incentives to build here. They will be the largest taxpayers in Stone County. Uh, even with the incentives that they have, they still will be the largest. Part of the deal includes a 10-year fee in lieu agreement. That means instead of paying taxes, Enviva will pay a fee. Then, after the deal expires, they will start paying their regular taxes. So what's next? Well, Tuesday, the Wiggins Board of Aldermen has their meeting, and at that meeting, they'll decide if they'll agree to the memorandum of understanding with Enviva. And after that, well, it's a lot of paperwork and Enviva hopes to begin construction this year to have the plant open for 2024. In Stone County, Noah Noble, WLOX News Now. And we're working on getting a copy of Stone County's Memorandum of Understanding with Enviva. When we have it, we'll post uh, it with this story on WLOX.com.